you know, black folks, and this is what we were looking at when I was watching the video there and talked about we look at that, okay? It's the remnant, and I know what it is, okay? And it basically it's up at the sun, and I'll plop to you the other shot, okay? That's what we zoomed in on there, and then you're going to see it even better there, okay? Because I zoomed in on it on the screen. Now, you might be able to get a better shot than this going right to the camera because basically I took this off of my video real fast that I pulled down. So you might be able to go to Nehemiah and get a better look. This is that remnant. And basically, we get a 3D image like a mirror, like a satellite, and we get a picture. They told us in the advertisement a long time ago, folks. The mirrors. It's the mirrors. The U.S. military can see everything going on in the world and universes, okay? And then this is a natural development that they probably possibly learn even more ideas of doing it is from seeing these things like this in the past, videotaping in certain areas where they would get objects from outer space if you listen down to Earth, okay? Now this is from the stuff out of the super giants early because at the end of this when it moves across, it's five AM when the sun is gonna be up. Okay, now they get twenty three to twenty four hours of sunlight, maybe even right at twenty four with the super giants coming in and so forth down there. Okay, so that's that object. Okay, it's not a bird. It's that object there that we zoom in on. And basically, I just zoom in it again on this frame, bring into it, and then I lose it on this one. But there you go, just before it disappears. And I had it better centered on the other shot. So that was that object there. And as you saw when I caught it, they didn't like you being able to show it because you get a. Now, this is the asteroid belt and other stuff happening tonight. Now, watch, check that down there. That was something that was bleeding through the clouds last night on fireball and then this is tonight you see live tonight okay so I showed you possibly before the clouds I believe now that's the moon this we don't know but I'm going to take you to a map in a second so me and my our scientists I've got it all figured out and I'm pretty sure NASA and then maybe you guys had had it figured out for years okay but I've got it figured out okay well there's M45 in the sky chart tonight don't let this fool you this is Venus over here it's not the biggest Jupiter's there now there has been a good reflections, and yes, everybody that has me warns me about it. And keep talking to me because I might miss something sometime. But yeah, I saw the when you originally told me about it and those cameras, and I love giving me the action there because we know what it is. Okay, so yes, you see, even here in the constellation map, they show that you're going to be able to see it. Okay, well, we figured that out on the seventh. And that one photo, go to spaceweather.com, and you should be able to go in their archives, go back to the eighth, and see that picture that they thought it was ice crystals. It wasn't. It was M45 the meatball right behind the moon, okay, and this is what's tonight, okay, and I should be able to give you the date here, M45 scar chart in the moon, and Jupiter is going to be giving some nice light to the moon, as you can see it tonight, orange, I already went outside and took a look at it, and there's east, and there's west, and now we'll go back to fireball real fast, and I'll give you the rise and set, I think, here, tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow's rise and set, folks, okay, of M45, okay, humongous meatball. We found it. So we're live here. At, uh, this is a live view at nighttime, as you can see right up here. You got that icon to go to, and we'll see. If I'm basically looking, and I don't really see nothing much new. And just basically here, you can you'll see that there that we're looking at this, and also we had uh, you have a match to it here and here, and they put a line yesterday to start viewing for it, okay? Or actually, the last three or four days they put a line there. Either that or that actually makes a dark line and then it's showing up now as what it is. And basically, I think down here you can see a little bit more that we have it coming up over here on the Huntsville shot. Okay? Because this is east over here and this is west over here. You lay yourself on the ground and put your head north. Okay? And put your feet north also. And then you'll get the view. I think that would work. Because this is east over here, counterclockwise, and you'll show in the photos. And also down here, when I pull down to the info on here, they're all the same. Okay, there'll be an arrow up here pointing north, and it's a little bit cockeyed. You see, they'll give you exact how it's where it's sitting at, how it's taking that view up in night sky, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and then these are the constellations there. And basically, I just showed you the other constellation map, but let's pop theirs in real fast. We got it at this uh, higher percentage, and we'll get it. I'm pretty sure we'll get it back there, and then we can just take a look down through. Got Vega, and then I'll I'll go ahead and go up through the the western side, what you'll see tonight. You go out there and look, and I guess basically that's it, because that's basically west on the other side. Okay, so because I can't slide over anymore. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to these photos down here, which basically is fresh tonight, not too long ago, and I think it's probably the same time and so forth, pretty much. 
you'll see if the clock changes and you can see that down there I think it's probably the same shot that I just gave you live and then you got the moon up here doing its a lot of action getting a lot of glow because it's getting more fuller and then you got this dark impression down here which matches going through the cloud because this is cloud cover of going through on the other shots you will see it and as we go to it and then basically they have it on here on the New Mexico sky it's showing up and you also even get that image in there now this dark light's been showing so when they're talking about UFOs over in Japan they were probably getting this shot ladies and gentlemen this is all stuff in space and everybody needs to quit freaking out and start letting astronomers need to get on the goddamn TV and start talking about all this stuff that it's just going on okay and then not scare anybody now the, the fact is going to have to be eventually come through to everybody that we do follow the Sun now this was stuff that I uh, zoomed in on the latest shots from behind uh, on L3 and 2. Okay, so that was that I zoomed in on. And basically, you could see the planet there or another sun right there to the right. And let's also go to the video real fast. I can, I can I think I can snag that real quick. I got this plan here. And you're going to see, that's the sun right there. And you're going to see other one on the left and other one on the right. Okay, so you can pretty much match all this in to what's going on up there at the super giants and all these massive objects up there because this plays through this is overlaid <coughs> and this stuff bleeds through and those are CMEs with going off when you get that big old flashes and end if we will go out to like 200 percent you'll see the player and the time and these are huge comets and objects and everything flying around the sun and you'll just keep on seeing it right there there's one object on that side of the sun and another object on that side of the sun it's not just a flare as you can see and you end up seeing then I'll zoom in again to 400 and you just keep an eye on the left and on right and you'll see that there's more than more than one and, and there's probably like the overlay I showed you on the earlier shots on the other videos and you basically see a huge one over here to this side show up on the CMEs, when she's farting, she's showing everything off. Okay, so go there and watch that at Navy Movies. Okay, and let's go. And this is pretty much that remnant that's up on the sun that's getting reflected down onto it was uh, the other night that got shot on that shot. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the time, and it was on Tullahoma that it showed up. And then what was goofy? They tried to cover it because people do panic. Okay. But now you can also see these dimples that we were seeing from the stuff going through the clouds, burning through, okay? So it's not just a reflection that would burn through like that. Those planets are actually there, okay, in outer space. And they have enough solar energy to them that they end up bleeding through. They don't just have clouds that do a shape like that, okay? That stuff is bleeding through, i.e., they started noticing this. And like I'm saying, that stuff about that stupid-ass UFO in Japan. And also you can see part of... This is north, and you get the reflection at the time on this shot would have been about the same time, I think, on any of these clock shots, okay? On these, and that was on, okay, the 9th, I guess. And you get another shot of seeing that up to the right, okay? And I'm not sure what the heck that is up there, because that is to the west. So that's more than likely the action coming over from over that we see end up seeing over in Hawaii and let's see if I can make sure I get a date and a time on these ones and that was pretty much yeah these were from the 8th okay and then early on the 9th okay so and then I zoomed in because you can see that darkness there that huge object there and I figure that's a darkness possibly that brick that we ended up seeing from up on the sun that we found the other day on the L3 shots as you can see that okay pretty creepy because this stuff is showing up in the night sky through the clouds okay no one's going out there and fake bacon no one gets allowed around those cameras and then there's where the idea that check that out those big old dimples getting heated through the clouds okay so once again we can go ahead and I'm pretty sure I'll have uh, tonight's shots that I can go back through here on fireball this is on L3. This is up at the sun. You're basically getting a closer look at that V again. And that's more than likely what's getting remnanted down to night sky is that their object there, possibly from the sun. 
Okay. Because this was today from behind. And i.e. they have the glass, the view cover off and everything. You can see the remnant and the volcano on it. And then here you have also these that we see tonight in tonight's sky on the east, because that's east and this is east. So all that stuff is out there tonight in the night sky. Fireball, NASA. I can't remember the satellite from this Cassini or whatever, but these are basically viewfinder lines right here on their satellite. Okay? But this is what they've seen up there on the moon that they've been looking at. And it's a gigantic crater. Okay? And then they have a deal where you can go to and I'll do a video showing you on that. Just looking around the, the crater. They have a real good player for it. Okay? So this is a gigantic crater, more than likely. Uh, from a humongous meteor or something, and that is basically not high a volcano that is deep into the ground. Okay, that's real deep in the ground on the right side that gets the shadow. This is from the moon. And this stuff was discovered a while back, and this is when they ended up having up at MSNBC because you know government watches everything, and they see me looking at this, and they see me look at the player or somebody, I guess, but everybody else is looking at it at the same time, and all of a sudden it ends up on MSNBC and on Bing. So I'll try to plop over to the Hawaii video now and see if we can get Hawaii video to load. See what we can get from the recent on Hawaii on M45. Okay? So we got from the ninth here on this and it played for a second but you can see all the action going on. I zoom in like 400%. So there's the song. Seems to be a bit camera shy. And then you'll see that rotate play around. I'll come back to that in a second and let it play. And both of our L2 and 3 gave us fresher shots, so let's pop into 400. That's what's going on. There's that dark halo. And then those, those are there are our two objects that we end up seeing in night sky, more than likely, and actually three. Bing, bing, bing. So that earth is down this way. Through this here, it pretty much gives you fact. Because you end up seeing that on night sky. Let me go to it real fast that that matches what we have over to right there. That's what we end up getting. So that's coming from up there. Okay? That right there is from up there on that side of the that side of the sun. Sorry, Rachel. This is the sun. Back side of the sun. So that shoots down to there. Okay? So Earth is directly usually when you see a flare like that from two and three, because two and three are from behind. Especially from two, you know the direction of Earth. Earth is that way, getting reflected through there. Okay, that flare of the sun reflects to the Earth. Okay, and towards the nighttime, evening, I guess basically, as we rotate, we rotate. Okay, so does the sun, but that's where we're basically direction-wise, when you see that this sun shot from L2, that's where it's from, because that gets reflected to the west because that's east that we see so we get a nice map on that match on that and there is our remnant and it's still flaring and then the interesting action and stuff right there below the sun too also and that's probably that one hot spot that we've been seeing okay so we're going to go over to L3 real fast because we have something interesting to see there on L3 right there so let's pop this to 400 real fast and real fast we'll look at this at 400 so you got that there, and then we'll go up, and we also have that interesting there, and also interesting over here. And we will go ahead and pop up to 1,000 real fast. We'll take a look at that up there, that remnant up there. And then also we have interesting also there. That's our huge cross constellation, more than likely, or at least one of them up there in space. As you see, it's almost flat. So it would be interesting to watch the Japan volcano again. Because more than likely it's going to get some more action. Probably has been getting some. I haven't. I got to get a link. Get the link for that. I think it's a live feed, so we're going to try to find that. Get that from Dutch. I think he should have it on his deals. And so we used to kind of like some tape speed here, but we're going up through a thousand. So that stuff that's around there, that's very interesting over there. That was to the right. All right. And then we have that also. And that's probably that big diamond that we end up seeing from the sun, because this is the sun we're looking at, and that's probably what causes that big reflection, or whatever that is, in that constellation right there, to that side of the sun, on 
right there. Okay. More, more on the Super Giants. Watch two.